Good morning, everybody. Thanks for stopping by, checking out another video. Uh, I got a couple things, actually one big thing to show off. Um, a lot of things uh, I've been working a lot lately, so um, it's good for me, but it means I don't have enough time to really do as much stuff as I'd like to do on this project. Uh, but there is one thing that I did get done that I really wanted to show off because I thought it was cool. Um, and that is uh, an on-screen keyboard. Um, people have brought up to me before uh, about, you know, possibly uh, creating an on-screen keyboard for this program or, you know, making it integrate with Windows' uh, OSK better. Um, so I decided to create one from scratch um, that was really focused on controller input. And uh, I got pretty far on it. So there's just uh, some bells and whistles left to do on it. but. Um, basically, I'm going to launch the keyboard by like pushing down on the forward part of the pad uh, like after the curve. So I push that down and boom, you see it pop up there. Um, unfortunately, hmm, I didn't think this through. My little overlay is covering it up partially. Let's see if... I can figure out how to turn that off. There we go. Okay. So here we go. We got the on-screen keyboard. And this corresponds to the uh, left and right stick. There we go. That's better. Uh, you'll see two cursors in there. And there's one for each stick. Uh, so, I mean, you can do dual entry. Uh, once you get good at it, I'm still fooling around with it, so I haven't gotten great at it. Um, there's going to be, you know, other stuff, you know, symbols, pages, uh, emotes. Um, I'll also have some, like, quick, uh, like, chat text in there as well uh, that you can select from. Um, but I'm, I'm going through this. Uh, you see the purple, uh, the purple cursor corresponds to my left stick. Um, and I'm also, I'm using the, either the left trigger or the left bumper. You can use either to, uh, select, um, stuff that's under there. And for the right stick, you use either the right trigger or the right bumper. Um, there's also on screen, uh, you know, settings, basic settings for the, uh, controller or not the controller, but the, uh, on screen keyboard. And I even, uh, I'm even thinking about throwing some application settings in here as well, since it's such a nice, uh, easy interface to get to. Um, there's haptic feedback, though it doesn't work the greatest because the rumble motors inside the DualShock are slow to get up to speed, so it's hard to get that, you know, quick pulse that you'd like to see when you're going over keyboard entries. It's more for, like, long rumbles, so it's not the best for this controller. Um, but if the, uh, the new Switch controller with that high-def fancy nonsense that it has... Um, if that is Windows compatible, once I get my hands on one of those, maybe that would be a good candidate for using this haptic feedback. Uh, but for now, I just turn it off because without it working nice and, you know, you know, jolty, uh, it's more annoying than it is helpful. Um, but yeah, uh, another good, good thing about that is it actually disables uh, all controller input. Uh, when that screen comes up, so it's not like you're still, uh, it's not like you're still messing around in the game. Um, let's see, I'm gonna, I think I have a, there we go, that, that'll work. Uh, so yeah, you see I got my controller up, it's receiving inputs, and I'll go ahead and bring up the keyboard, and you see all my inputs are going to the keyboard now, nothing's happening with the controller. Um, same thing with the, you know, buttons and all that stuff. Uh, so, that's actually helpful. Um, so you're not accidentally doing stuff in game while this is up. And then, you know, as soon as you turn the keyboard off, it's back to just normal controller input. Um, so, I mean, yeah, I'll go ahead and use it a little bit here. Uh, And I'm also thinking of different ways, uh, you know, to integrate the, 
the cursors into the program, kind of like a, a snap to button option, a, uh, a momentum based option instead of, you know, exact position. Uh, so, you know, there's, there's going to be other stuff coming to it. Right now it's, uh, it's just based on the position of the stick. So if I pull it over to the side and let go of the stick, it'll, it'll snap back. Um, so that's just one of the ways that I'll set it up, but I'll have optional other ways uh, to do it as well. Yeah, I'm not the best at this yet. Uh, it takes a little practice. Um, actually, I found that it works a little bit better with the 360 controller uh, because those sticks are actually a little bit more precise, so you don't get as much uh, like jitter that you do with this one. So. Um, mileage may vary depending on the controller you use with it. So uh, that's just a quick little thing of that. Um, I've also set it up so it'll be it'll be uh, you can bring it up as a command in the macros um, so you can actually let's see, let's go back over here to triggers and Uh, let's do left stick click. Compare equals. All right, now I set it up. So normally you push the uh, top of the pad here to bring that up, but now. As you can see, a left stick can trigger it as well. So, um, you know, just throwing some options in there, uh, making it configurable. Um, well that that way is helpful for controllers. You know, like your 360 controller, where you don't necessarily have a touch pad that you can dedicate to something like that, so you can put it on a macro. Um, depending on the game you're playing uh, on a key that isn't going to really interfere with stuff. So, um, yeah, uh, that's about it, guys. Um, I just wanted to show off the keyboard stuff. Like I said, I'm, I got my, you know, back against the wall here with other stuff. Uh, I haven't been able to do a Tipsy Tuesday today because the server that I use to actually stream out my gameplay is actually busy rendering off some CGI stuff for work, so... Um, yeah, I can't really stream while that stuff is cooking, and that'll be going for a couple days probably, so, um, so, alright, that's about it guys, alright everybody have a good one, I'll see you next week.